doesn't love a touching marriage proposal? Is Chanel, you have a story behind a really sweet one that's got some some pretty poignant history too. Yes, this is this is a special one. This uh, features a filmmaker surprising his unsuspecting girlfriend with a movie trailer about their relationship, and the rest, as they say, is history. It's a tale of true love, the kind you normally only see in the movies. And when Max Zogby, an aspiring young movie director, wanted to propose to his girlfriend, Bonnie Kate, he did it the only way he knew how, through film. I just knew that she was the one, and somewhere in my confused and broken state, there's a glimpse of hope. Not only because of his passion, but because of a tragedy that reignited their relationship two years ago. I was on a road trip with my friend, and we um, stopped in Aurora for the night. And so, last minute, we decided to go find tickets to go see the new night premiere of Batman. It was at that theater outside Denver where a gunman opened fire, killing 12 people and wounding dozens more, including Bonnie Kate, who was hit in the knee. I'm laying on the ground, trying to army crawl towards the exit door, thinking, you know, I'm probably not going to make it out of here. She was rescued and rushed to the hospital. And while the couple wasn't together at that time, that night, Bonnie Kate had been on Max's mind. I was just really restless. I couldn't sleep very well, which is unlike me. Her mom then calls me and tells me that she was shot. Following the incident and through Bonnie Kate's recovery, the two became inseparable. We needed to be friends first and put each other first as friends, and then everything else kind of fell into place. Then came the touching proposal, an over-the-top movie trailer on the big screen, Max trying to replace the memory of that awful night with the new joyous one. Bonnie Kate, this is for you. It's that romantic gesture. And so, it begins where it almost ended. The trailer is now part of a short film chronicling their love story, ending in Happily Ever After. It's been so good to not be alone and to have someone like that's there for you and you're there for them. You're one. It's an incredible thing. (laughs) It's a pretty good deal. It is. Isn't that a good love story? Yes. Really, that's Sweet. a good one. The short film is called Wildflower. I mean, he is a filmmaker, so he has talent to begin with. <laughs> right. But that's still sweet when someone makes something just for you. It's really fun. And there's yes. Somewhere there's some poor guy who was planning a proposal today, and he's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, man. Yeah. I know the bar is so high these <laughs> right. days. It's hard. It? It's hard. But you know what? Just the simple I love you goes a long way, too, right? Absolutely. One-on-one. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yes.